Hello and welcome to another Walking Dead video. So today I want to talk about Fear the Walking Dead and we will be reviewing Season 7 Episode 10. And this is the Charlie episode, so let's sizzle on that, yes. And I'm just going to say something here. It is very clear why they aired Episode 9 and 10 on the same day. After watching both, it is very clear. And that's all I'm going to say. I'll say more in the review. So, as you always know, I will talk about slight spoilers. So, be warned for that. But let's jump right into this. So, what happens in this episode? This episode is a Charlie episode. So, hold on to your watch because you're going to be staring at it for a while. And the plot is Charlie goes to the tower. And she wants to be a part of the tower. Seemingly. Or is she there as a ruse to help Morgan and Alicia in their war? That is the plot. And the annoying thing about this plot is that you obviously have to add a romance to this. Because we get introduced to another character called Ollie. And they're like, oh, here's Ollie. He's going to be Charlie's new boyfriend. It's dodgy, okay? Because they make sure to point out that Ollie's 15 and Charlie's 12. Okay? I don't know, but I think those numbers are a bit too far away. Okay, Charlie's 12, and they have a romance. It's just dodgy, okay? Most of this episode is a romance between Charlie and Ollie, but I will talk about it later, because I'm going to structure this in a kind of way where I talk about all the good things first, and then we'll get to all the bad things about this episode. So let's move over to all the good things about this episode. So the biggest thing about this episode that's a win is Howard I really like Howard he's such a good character he's carrying this episode in my opinion he's only in the start and the end but he has such a big impact on the story I love him at the end of the episode he's so good at the end of the episode and so good at the start of the episode we don't see Strand so Howard's taking the lead I really like Howard this episode he's really good he's really he's the best actor I feel like everyone's kind of phoning it in and they're like oh it's a Charlie episode we don't really need to care that actor for how is like bruh I'm gonna go full out sinister like he's so good I like him as a villain he's such a nice little mini strand another win is John Dory I like John Dory I thought he was really cool because he's like kind of Howard's number one so he's like number two if you're like looking at Star Trek he's like the data of the group I quite liked it. It was quite cool. At the end, I thought there was going to be something interesting with him. But no, he had a private conversation with June as soon after Harold left. And you're like, oh, they're doing that. Where he's going to do this and he's going to actually do a one-up. He's going to double team it. No, I don't like that. Okay, I thought they could have done something really cool by having Howard and John Dory on Strand's side. But no, they're not. Which kind of really annoyed me. It was like, oh, you had, you had such a cool idea. So, that's the cool thing. Also... This is very aesthetic. I really like this episode for where it's set. There's some really cool scenes in a town. And you see the horse going through these alleyways. So it was so cool to see actual like urban environments and post-apocalypse in a town. Instead of in the woods like we get on all the other shows. So I thought that was amazing. So if you want to see some different environments, this is the episode. It looks way better than the previous episode. Which was, here's a house. Here's a building. Here's the woods. Here's orange. This is like, here's some nice colourful, like, Last of Us vibes. I got Last of Us vibes from the town section in this episode. The town section looked really cool. I really liked the town section. It's a shame it had Charlie and Ollie. And, to be honest, the only other benefit was the pacing was actually pretty okay. I, I wasn't suspecting the pacing to be as good as it was. Even though had Charlie in it the pacing was good it might just be because I just watched episode 9 so I'd be like oh god episode 9 was a slog this episode was quite fast in the pacing it was quite like boo 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 and it had action in it it was very fun to watch action if you just pretend Charlie wasn't there and pretend it was a better character you'd be like oh there's action it's fun it was fun to watch for the action and the way it looked and it paced well I got to the end of the episode and I was like oh oh I want to talk about the ending. I want to feel like the ending. The ending did f was pretty good in my opinion. The ending was pretty good. I will talk about the ending later as a separate thing. But it had a pretty good ending. Also, they almost did it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to talk too much about it. But it's a massive up. It's like a kind of a, oh, a slightly negative. Because they didn't follow through. But they almost did it. Okay. If you're in the know, you're in the know. I don't want to spoil it. But they 
almost, we were this close to be to getting rid of that issue we've had since season four. That's all I'm going to say. We were this close to the end of one of the worst things that's ever happened to Fear the Walking Dead. I don't want to spoil it just because when you watch it, you'll be like, oh, but we were so close and we were teased it and we're, 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 but we could get it and it's so good. It could not happen. We could get an Alicia where she's like, oh, I'm dying, but she's not. But I hope we do. And this is the last thing. I want to be as vague as possible once you know. You'll be like, oh. I, if they followed through, is all I'm going to say. If they followed through and did this thing I'm being vague about, this would have been the best episode this season. Easily. Just been bam. Best episode, banger. Best episode this season. Best episode, season, season six. Start of season six. Best episode since then. We were so close to this being the best episode. I'm not going to say any more because I'm not a spoiler, but we were so close. Now let's move on to the negatives. And there's quite a few negatives. And I don't know where to start of this. So let's start with the romance plot and how bad it was. So you had Charlie and Ollie having this weird romance. And these characters just met. And they're like, oh, let's do bowling. And they obviously are like, oh, they're going to touch hands. It was just cringy. I hated the romance plot. They kissed. And all I could think is that she's 12, he's 15. This is a bit noncy. I know they're both underage. But that's like a year 10 and a year 7, okay? That's just wrong, okay? That's just dodgy. And uh, it was just dodgy. It was just noncy, kind of, like... She's 12, he's 15. I don't know how, I don't like how they kind of forced away. The writing was also bad this episode. I'm going to talk about how bad the writing is. So you had the terrible romance plot, which made no sense. There was no chemistry. It was just nasty. It was made no sense. And then you had the writing, which felt forced at times, where characters stated their age. So you can go like, oh, that character's that old, that character's that old. I thought that was wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure they definitely stated the age of Ollie and Charlie to be like, okay, they're both under age. But I don't know why they decided to make Charlie a week away from 13. You're like, you should have just made a 13. It would have made it like kind of less dodgy with her being 12 and 15. I can't get over that because it's just a bit weird. And the writing was off because some decisions were made. Like, is it a, there's a thing where they're in this big building. It was in that cool bit when they're in the urban environment. So everything looked cool. And they're trying to steal some technology so they can get the lifts working again in the tower. And there's walkers breaking out the store. And Charlie's doing this. She's getting it. And then she decides to stop what she's doing and talk to Ollie like, Oh, hey, Ollie. I was going to actually stab you all in the backs. And then she's shocked when Ollie turn, like, tries to leave her. And you're like, No. That felt so forced. She's like, oh yeah, I felt guilty because I was going to do this for Morgan, but now I'm not going to do it. If you were going to do that and you decide not, why would you not keep it quiet? It just felt like stupid character decisions because the writer was like, we need to have Charlie do something. It was just bad. So the writing was bad. Also, the acting, because this is such a heavy Charlie episode, she can't carry it. You have Charlie and Ollie and they were both so bad at acting and just like there's a scene where Char something happens to Charlie and Ollie's like, Oh no, stay with me and you're like, Come on. You you just kissed her and now you're like, Oh no, stay with me, John help and it was just like that kind of shout and wasn't really shocked. It was just bad. So the it's just there's so many wrong things. Just that was the biggest issue, just everything to do with Charlie was just terrible about this episode. I also want to say that June was quite annoying this episode, to be honest. It made sense what she's doing, but it was annoying. I will talk more about her when I talk about the ending. But in total, this entire episode was max cringe. I really couldn't help but cringe constantly while watching this episode because it was just the bad writing. It's just very cringy. I do also want to say another down is that it's meant to be Charlie's episode, but why is Ollie who's a supporting character in it more than Charlie. It seems more like his episode than Charlie's. And I'm not complaining, well, I am complaining, but if it's meant to be someone's episode, why not make them seem like the main character? She just, she can't carry the episode, and a supporting character who is terrible seems more like the main character to the episode than she does. I just didn't like that. If it's meant to be her episode, 
commit to making a horror episode. Don't do what they did with the West episode in season six, where it's maybe West episode, but it's more like Alicia's. It just that's what it felt like. I do also want to talk about the ending because the ending is so close to being perfect. If they followed through with the ending, this episode would have been straight up the best episode the season because they were so good. Like Howard was so good in the ending. I really liked Howard and Howard made the ending. This is such a good ending to such a mediocre episode such a cringy mediocre episode you have this really strong and powerful ending with howard kind of becoming full strand like this is what strand would do and you can see the influence of strand on howard throughout this entire episode which i really liked and then it all comes together to this final episode where howard does something like strand's gonna do this and then he goes down to talk to charlie and then you get the annoying June stuff, which was like, no, you can't touch Shani, you have to deal with me, and I'm the only doctor, so you can't kill me, be like, nah, it's the Walking Dead universe, okay, you kill June, you'll find another doctor in two episodes or less, come on, I just didn't like that annoying, like, conflict between June and Howard, but we were so close, only if Howard fell, followed through, and we would got the best ending ever, and Howard had been like, oi, Charlie, guess what, bang, Bam, the best episode ever. Shame we didn't get that. I was rooting so hard for Howard just to be like, you know what, I'm just going to shoot through June. But we didn't get that, which was kind of annoying. I shouldn't be rooting for Howard, but I did so much. The ending was so close to being perfect, but they just didn't follow through, which is so annoying. Hopefully, when Madison's back, she can, is all I'm going to say. And if she doesn't, that might just kill the show for me, to be honest. Because it wouldn't make sense for Madison to not. But let's move on to my one sentence. That's one word overall review. So this episode does have some big wins. Just because I really liked Howard this episode. And the setting was really cool in the town. Other than that. It's just major losses. So I might have said a lot of positive things about this episode. But it's in the grand total of season 7. Not the best. It's still pretty bad. I have just been a lot very positive after I've just come off watching episode 9. So that has made this look like gold when it's still poo, basically. It is also very clear why they decided to do these two episodes back to back, just because both of them are both really bad. It's just episode 9 is way, way, way worse than episode 10, which you think would be the other way around. But surprisingly, episode 10 is the stronger out of the two episodes. It was still bad though. And. I would have to say my one word, I immediately thought this word as soon as I finished the episode, this is the cringiest episode ever, just because of how bad the romance is, how forced it is, how little it makes sense this episode, this plot is very nonsensical, it's 100% filler, this is such a cringy episode, I either sit there like cringing constantly, ugh, like making visible noises like, oh no, please don't. And like, it was so obvious they're going to, oh, they're going to hold hands. I didn't like it. It was cringy. It was such a bad episode with the cringiness. They shouldn't have given Charlie a whole episode. It's so annoying that Carol's like, Charlie, again, Charlie and definitely Sarah getting episodes when you're like, I want maybe Dwight to get an episode. Maybe, who, who haven't we got yet? Oh, how about Luciana? Daniel, I think next episode is actually a Daniel episode, looking at the trailer. But why we not got a Luciana episode? This could have easily been a Luciana episode so much better. And to be honest, Charlie was outshunned in this own episode. It felt more like an Ollie episode than a Charlie episode, because Ollie's in more of the episode. But this is just Max cringy. But please tell me down below, what did you think about this episode? Did you not like it? Did you like it? Did you like it more than episode 9 or like no, episode 9 more than episode 10? I would like to know which of these two episodes is better in your opinion. 10 is better in my opinion, I just hated 9, but please tell me down below, and look on the screen for what we're walking to content, if you want to check out some reviews, I'll go on the screen, and subscribe for what we're walking to content every week, and you want to keep up to date with all things Walking Dead, come to me for decent content, but this is it for me today, so goodbye, peace out, and I'll talk to you at a later date.